musician and actress who announced her painting because the man is saying that um the woman has brought her cousin and for two years the cousin is staying in the house oh. the man said oh you let your cousin go ha- me i won't let my wife's cousin come and stay with me for two years for what yes, sir. if i have money you can rent a room somewhere for for her to stay but to bring her a family member to stay with it's not good though yes, sir. especially with the young there is um a very great mystery that i want to teach you about the bible spoke about marriage and the things that we have to know about marriage yes, in gen chapter 2 verse 24 it says that uh, for those reasons a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they shall become one flesh yes sir and when you go to ephesians 5 verse number 31 30 going paul also said the same thing that for this cause a man shall leave the father's house or simply say the parents out yes, sir. and cleave unto his wife yes, sir. And they shall become one flesh yes sir and paul went further to say this is a mystery Call. so a man leaving the father's house is a mystery just like christ will unite with the church yes sir in the marital realm there must be a man leaving the father's house coming to join together with the wife mm. and they don't become two they become one mm. two individuals become one just like Christ would marry the church and we will become one with him. Come. But yes, yes. So yes, Paul said there's a mystery there. So the foundation of marriage is based on this mystery. Mm. That a man leaves the father's house, the mother's house, and cleave to. The word cleave means to, to be tied. Yes, to, be, to, be, to be unified. Yes, and you become one. Yes, now, any time that phenomenon is broken and another thing enters, a foreign thing enters, it breaks the foundation of marriage. Come. And it will not work yes, sir. so i keep saying that when eve left the side of adam satan came in and destroyed the marriage yes, sir. by bringing a problem yes, sir. if taking the apple to adam means that when eve was talking to satan adam was in there mm. let us say adam or baby yes, they were together but when there was a little separation maybe they had a little argument adam was a bit far from the wife then the enemy had a chance God satan invaded mm. so you see the oneness was broken yes sir the union was broken yes sir that's why i keep saying that even sometimes when a man and a woman they want to have a child you know i i dealt with a case like that they were looking for a child for some years and then anytime it's is the woman season to get pregnant they will fight mm. and then the separation will come this one will be lying here this one will be lying here oh. and when that happens the season of fertility will pass mm and then they will make amends again for years they were trying to have a child Call. satan would invade the home bring confusion put one here put one there for them to now have that intimacy to have the child wasn't working mm. so for years they were barren and i picked the guy said this what happened he says yes that is true anytime is the season for us to bear fruit or my wife's season to bear fruit then we we fight satan does that strategy to do what to keep them at bay so that they will not bear fruit yes, sir. so after we dealt with that case they conceived mm. so the whole thing is that when people begin to or another person begins to come into the marriage the two of you there will always be a problem genesis chapter 24 when abraham sent the chief servant eliezer to look for the wife for isaac yes, sir. what happened was that the man prayed and said lord give me speed yes, sir. i think verse 12 he prayed that god give me speed he said lord okay the woman that will come and fetch water for me to drink and my animals let that be my master's wife yes sir and the bible said when he began to say those things verse 12 13 14 there about verse 15 also bible said when he finished praying then rebecca appeared yes sir <laughs> now you see what empire would my rebecca appeared may god give you speed in your prayer amen prayer was answered by speed yes sir and then rebecca came fetching water by the world then he asked for water and the woman gave it he said sir, this one is my master's wife that's isaac now they went to the house of rebecca with the servant they paid all the dowry the bread price everything so when you read that place downwards you see how eliezer the head servant of abraham went to pay the bread price that was how bread price came yes sir. now when they went further they went to the house and they called the woman in verse number 54 56 54 in verse number 54 going they paid the bride price in yes, in verse number 54 going they paid the bride price and all that then after they paid the bride price verse number 56 they called the woman that ah come and listen this man has paid your bride price he wants to take you to your husband yes, he, and they asked him will you go can you read it genesis 24 56 uh-huh. and he said to them uh-huh. 
do not hinder me do not hinder me since the lord has prospered my way read the verse number 54 verse 54 uh-huh. and he and the men who were with him uh-huh. ate and drank and stayed all night they stayed all night then they arose in the morning they arose in the morning and said and said send me away to my master send me away so the, the guy had paid the the, the, the girl's bride price they slept they ate they did some engagement and they said send me away to my master yes, sir. with the girl let us go back because yes, my master is waiting yes, sir. the guy prayed for speed and look i want the woman fast god help me to get the, the woman for my what master yes, sir. verse 55 yes but her brother and her mother said, the brother rebecca's brother listen carefully rebecca's brother and the what and the mother and the mother what is this let the young woman stay with us a few days let the young woman stay with us a few days about 10 days at least 10 about 10 days they said let the young woman stay with us for 10 days mm. the mother and the bride and i'm asking myself that they have paid their bride price this guy prayed for speed in verse 12 okay Eliaza. he has prayed for speed our lord give me speed so that i will see this woman fast carry her home my master is waiting yes, i've paid everything i have to pay Car. They are going the next day you are saying the girl should stay for 10 days mm. this girl has been staying in that house for many years Car. 10 days or tonight, what about them what would 10 days do when she stays there again mm. so the mother and the brother says rebecca should stay in the house yes, sir. can i tell you something now sometimes then the families that you are in they don't want you to get married Car. they don't want you to marry mm. bad price has been paid why should the girl stay there for 10 days again mm. now deep things god began to teach me he says that families don't like the girls to get married in their house Car. they don't like it the guy paid for speed so the guy said do not hinder me let mm. me go yes sir the guy said ah, he says god has given me speed yes sir i've done everything i've paid you you have welcomed me so now i'm taking my wife my master's wife back to him they said you should stay there for 10 days yes, sir. read it and he said to them uh-huh do not hinder me you, the, the guy said do not hinder me since the lord has prospered since the lord has given me speed why do you mm. want to hinder me continue send me away send me away so that i may go to my master so that i may go to my master and they said and they said we will call the young woman. we will call rebecca and ask her personally may you be also a rebecca in jesus name amen young woman watching me may you be a rebecca amen become a rebecca yes sir they said okay let's call the woman and ask her yes sir that are you going to go with them yes sir mm. you have taken the gold then tomorrow you have taken the money you have taken all the cows you have taken all the bread price send them away to go you are trying to hinder them i say families don't like what marriages they don't like it yeah then they continue ahead and you mm. so when they call the young girl read then they called rebecca and uh-huh. said to her uh-huh. will you go with this will you go with the, this man uh-huh. and she said and she said i will go i am going Car. i'm going I will stay here. I'm going. I'm going to my husband's house. Mm. Then the, what, what am I doing here? You will go to your husband's house. Amen. You go to your husband's house. Sir. Rebecca said, I am what? I will go. Now, let me end by saying that. I said, families don't like marriages. Mm. Yeah. And the guy said, do not hinder me. You remember the guy was praying. Before he finished praying, mm. Rebecca came. Yes, sir. So the guy was praying, Kato Parakata, Lord, the woman that I, I'll meet, that will help us get water for me and the animals. Let that woman be my master's wife. Then Rebecca appears. Ah! She gave them all the things the guys made in the prayer. Yes, sir. He says, Kai, this one is my master's wife. They went to pay everything. The next day, they are going now. What's it, Abby? And they called the girl, and the girl said, I am going. And they sent her away. Now, the mystery God told me that the families, I said, what? They don't like what? Marriages. So, when you marry, don't bring your families into your marriages too much. Mm. Let me end with this one. Yes, sir. Most of the marriages that break down, when they bring their families, a girl will always call her mother, tell her everything about what is happening in the husband's house. You are, you are going to end the marriage very soon. Yes, sir. I'm not saying she's bad. Though. She may not be bad. She may not be evil or not that bad. The moment you are bringing a third party, Paul, I told you, that the two shall become one. Yes, sir. Paul said it's a mystery. Yes, sir. Adam and Eve, there was a Adam and Eve, there was a space so Satan entered. Mm. So if you begin to involve family, 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 there's a problem. Yes, sir. In Ghana, they say there's a young man now and a wife, musician and actress, who are now separating because the man is saying that um the woman has brought her cousin and for two years the cousin is staying in the house. Oh. The man said, Oh, you let your cousin go. Ha- me, I won't let my wife's cousin come and stay with me for two years. For what? Yes, sir if i have money you can rent a room somewhere for for her to stay but to bring her a family member to stay with it's not good though yes sir especially with the young marriages or see the two shall become what one don't bring external people in the marriage Car. it will not work yes, sir. it will not work you know the guy was speaking out of pain and all. i mean i don't follow him and all that but i'm beginning to feel that he is trying to say the truth 
we have not heard from the girl's side though i'm not siding with but mostly when marriage issues comes everybody goes on the side of yes, the sir. woman they don't also listen to the men the men also have things to also say yes sir he said he has he he pays everything he gives everything but this person has brought the family to come and stay and the woman has seen her nakedness a few times how can your cousin see your husband's nakedness and now they have broken up he says he wants the woman to stay in the house because he doesn't want the child to be afraid that's wisdom because our real because of the children or that you have to, because of that sometimes if you, if you have issues you have to sort it out yes, for the sake of the children yes except it's a stream unto death mm. then you go yes, but if the little quarrels and all that try and make it work God. if you bring the standard person here it will not work we have to precious one don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos click on the notification bell whenever i drop any new video you'll be the first person to watch god bless you